Today, we're gonna be photographing some whiskey. Carl Taylor recently made a tutorial on his channel where he photographed a bottle of whiskey. However, we're gonna do things a little different because we're gonna be shooting with constant light. Additionally, this setup is gonna have a few more lights and we're gonna add a bit more atmosphere to the image by adding smoke. I think this will take the image to the next level and we're gonna get some interesting results. So this is the bottle that we're gonna be photographing. Um, it's gonna be a little challenging just because uh, it's very reflective and also we have the golden highlights on the bottle that we gotta make sure that are shiny and look smooth. All right, I've set up my scene over here and uh, as a background, we are using a leather mouse pad and I'm holding it with a grip arm and some clamps. Um, and we're going for a hero shot so the camera is looking up at the product. I put the, the bottle very close to the edge and I also put a glass with a, with a whiskey right behind it. For the camera, we're using the Sony A1 and we're also using the Sony 50mm G Master. For the camera settings, it's ISO 100, F16 to get a wide depth of field and get everything in focus, and the shutter speed is 0.8 of a second. As always, I am shooting tether to my computer so that I can review the images as they come in and so that I can use live view to see my camera's point of view in the computer. To make this type of image look high-end, we need to create gradients in the bottle. We're gonna achieve this by using diffusers and some softboxes. I'm gonna shine the softbox through the diffuser and I'm gonna put it at an angle so that there is a gradation on the panel. This gradation is gonna reflect onto the bottle and it's gonna give us that glossy look. I'm gonna start by highlighting the left side of the bottle. Since the bottle is green and the brand colors are also green, I'm gonna use an RGB tube light and I'm gonna make this highlight a green color. I'm gonna snap the image to see how it looks like. So that's what we got. It's very subtle, but I think it looks really nice. I'm gonna increase the power just a little bit more. Okay, I think this green highlight looks great. Now I'm gonna add a softbox to that same diffuser so that I can highlight the other edge on that side of the bottle. I'm gonna turn off the other light just so that I can see well what this light is doing. Okay, this light gives us a little more definition and I think it looks great. Now I'm gonna create a glow on the background, so I'm gonna use this battery-powered LED light to do that. I'm gonna turn off this light so that we can see exactly what that light is doing. I really love the look that this light gives to the product. It's a very smooth gradient and it makes everything inside the bottles glow. All right, next we're gonna work on highlighting the labels on the bottle. The first light that I'm going to use to do this is um, the Godos X30 with an optical snood. This will, this will help us get very precise and will help us point the light only in the places that we want it. Because if we didn't have this tool, we would get specular highlights that are going to be reflected in other places of the bottle that we don't really want. So let me show you how to do this. All right, I'm excited how this is coming out. This image is really coming along. Now I'm gonna light the front of the bottle. I'm gonna use a big diffuser with another softbox and hopefully it's gonna be enough so that we can make all the fonts uh, highlighted and so that we can get that shininess on the bottle. See this smooth gradation on the side of the bottle? This is exactly what we're looking for and it's what's gonna make our image look high-end. 
I'm thinking this one light is not enough to cover the front label, so I'm gonna add a second light and uh, it's gonna highlight the right side uh, on the front part of the bottle. That's gonna be it for the lighting. So now I'm gonna turn on all the lights and I'm gonna see how they all look together. I'm really happy with the lighting in this image. So now the only thing that we gotta fix is that we can see the battery operated light through the bottle. Um, this light that's giving the glow, we need to remove it, and I'm gonna place a golden, um, a golden paper behind the bottle. This way we're gonna get the bottle to look clean and we're not gonna have the black block behind the bottle. I took another exposure with this golden paper and in Photoshop we're gonna create a layer mask and we're gonna mask this image onto the front part of the bottle. At this point, the image looks great, and most people will call it a day and be done with it. But I was thinking, how can we make this image even better and step things up a bit? Um, so I have this smoke gun that is usually used to give smoke flavor to food and drinks. I'm gonna link it down in the description. So I'm gonna turn it on and I'm gonna have the smoke go behind the bottle. I think with the combination of the slow shutter speed that I'm using for this image and the movement of the smoke, is gonna capture some very nice effects. All right, here comes the fun part. Let's add the smoke. In Lightroom, I selected four images in order to create a composite in Photoshop. The first image is the photo with all the lights on. The second image is the photo with all the lights on and the smoke. The third image is the photo with the golden card. And the fourth image is an additional exposure that I got by moving the aperture and C light and moving the glass out of the shot. I just wanted to play around and see what type of glows I could create in the bottle. Now that I have my four images selected, I'm gonna right click in one of them and I'm gonna click Open as Layers in Photoshop. In order to create our composite, we need to make sure that all our layers are aligned. In order to do this, I'm gonna select all my layers and I'm gonna go to Edit, Auto Align Layers. I'm gonna leave the auto setting and press OK. This way, I will know that when I create my mask, everything is gonna be aligned properly. So now that everything is aligned, I'm gonna look for my main image, which is gonna be the image with the bottle and the smoke. And to that image, I wanna put the photo with the golden card on top so that we can create a mask and we're gonna Photoshop the front label onto the bottle. So I'm gonna create a mask and invert the layer to black. I'm gonna zoom in a little closer to the image so it's easier to see the details. And with the, with the white brush, I'm gonna color in the front of the bottle. Now that we've created our layer mask, we can compare and see the before and after. The after seems much better because we don't have that black block on the back and we can see the color of the whiskey on the bottle. Next, I want to use the image with the aperture light that created the highlight on the side of the bottle. In order to build this one into the composite, I'm gonna copy the layer mask from the previous image. 
After that, I'm gonna create an empty layer and merge that with the image with the highlight. This way, we only have the selection of the bottle. On that layer with the highlight, I'm gonna create a layer mask and switch it to black. And now with a brush, with a opacity to very low, I'm gonna brush in the highlight. I think that is very nice. Maybe a little too strong, so I'm gonna lower the opacity to 70%. After retouching the dust and cleaning up the details, this is the final result. If you like this type of content, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. And please subscribe so that you can see my future videos. Bye!